<sighs> this part is bunk. sit down or get a drink or something. Get back in line! Whoa, man, what's your deal? I, I need this. You don't understand. I've been waiting for this my whole life to start a conga line. You don't understand! Hey, buddy. I think it's time to go home. Liz? Are you okay? It happened again. Ugh, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. But hey, we're heading for the season 15 premiere of Live from Studio B if you want to join. I don't know. I'm feeling kind of sad. Well, I know what will make you feel better. the season 15 premiere of Live from Studio B. I'm one of your hosts, Liz Crandall. And I'm your other host, Joe Loria. This week is Valentine's Day, and for all the men watching, please get your significant other something for Valentine's Day. I'm talking to you, Dad. And for all the women watching, get ready to put out for the first time since last Valentine's Day. <laughs> You know, it's kind of crazy. We both have a significant other for this Valentine's Day, Liz. And it's crazy, because only one of us is happy. <laughs> Who that is, we'll never tell. <laughs> but what we can tell you is the news, so let's get right into it. In this year's Super Bowl, the Chiefs and the 49ers face off in a rematch of the 2020 game. In related news, dads and brothers everywhere have started a new hate group called TSF, Taylor Swift Haters. <laughs> Wow, Taylor Swift single-handedly brings families together and tears them apart. <laughs> Walmart offers store managers company stock to make them feel like real owners. They'll even give them tiny monocles and top hats to make them feel like real capitalists. <laughs> Jeez. A Pennsylvania Wendy's was fined $300,000 for over 700 child labor law violations. Wendy's? More like Wendy's kid's gonna get paid. <laughs> More like... Wendy's writer's gonna get paid. <laughs> Please. And host. South Korea's government asked people to not eat fried toothpicks. North Korea's government, in reply, says, are you not gonna finish that? <laughs> that is totally the only problem facing North Korea's government right now. <laughs> An Amish family's horse and buggy was stolen from a Walmart parking lot while they were shopping. Idiot left the keys in it. <laughs> You don't want to know where you put a screwdriver to hotwire a horse. <laughs> Elon Musk says he's Jewish by association after Auschwitz visit. He saw almost no anti-Semitism. I think he's just balding and wants to hide it with a yarmulke. 
A New Hampshire vet admits he faked wheelchair use for 20 years, falsely claiming $660,000 in benefits. Why would he do that? Don't vets already make so much money from saving those animals? <laughs> If that's all it takes to make that much money, I'm buying a wheelchair and never getting a job. <laughs> Protesters were seen throwing soup at the Mona Lisa painting. Not their fault her ass looked like a saltine cracker. <laughs> Shawty should have just smiled. Man accidentally shot himself playing basketball at St. Paul Elementary School, please say. Shooting hoops, more like shooting whoops. <laughs> Jelaine Maxwell writing tell-all in jail to combat misinformation about her ties to Jeffrey Epstein. This comes after publisher's latest success with Stephen Hawking's autobiography. Wheels, deals, and underage thrills. <laughs> My personal favorite book of theirs is Alec Baldwin's autobiography. Oops. <laughs> Megan The Stallion and Nicki Minaj are reportedly in a feud after Minaj dissed The Stallion. Shake ass. Please shake ass. Both of you, twerk off right now. <laughs> Joe, please stop being horny on live. Ice Spice has released her long anticipated new single with the hook, you think you're the S word, B word? You're not even the fart. <laughs> Man, if only Bob Dylan was alive to hear this. <laughs> Poor Bob Dylan, he's still alive. <laughs> the 2026 FIFA World Cup final will take place at New Jersey's MetLife Stadium. Here, we have a photo of the European psyche entering an East Rutherford Wawa. <laughs> What's that I'm getting? Breaking news? We have to cut to our newest reporter? Attention Syracuse, I'm Donna Holt, OTN's newest emergency reporter, coming to you live with my first ever emergency alert broadcast. I am beyond excited to inform you that serial killer Eric Burnett has escaped from the Onondaga County Jail. This is an extremely dangerous individual with over 35 counts of first degree murder. Oh my god, that's like my biggest crime I've reported on to date. <laughs> We recommend you stay inside, lock your doors, and stay next to the TV so you don't miss me with, for, with future emergency reports. Also just in, traffic reports say a semi-truck, that's kind of boring. Um, um, in other news, recent meteorologist reports expect a category five hurricane. That's not super important. Um, I could probably come up with better news than this. Um, Breaking news, my neighbor picked up playing the trumpet, so. Um, and witnesses say that I drove my Nana to the nail salon today, and that was, that was pretty fun. So yeah, and officials are saying that this is the event. Um, officials are saying that I'm going to my cousin's baby shower next week. Um, you need to throw it over. The segment's not over. Yes, it is. <gasps> <laughs> This just in, 22-year-old OTN crew member Kelly Davis was just found dead in her place of employment with a pretty impressive stab wound. <laughs> Officials are saying that OTN's most beloved nude news icon, Donna Holt, is the prime suspect. She is now wanted for $20,000, but I'd say that face is worth more than that. <laughs> Stay tuned for more updates on the case. And it looks here now that I have my first eyewitness. What do you have to say? No, that's not, no, it's not. It looks like that's all the time we have. Um, I'm Donna Holt, America's sweetheart, and your favorite reporter. And the reason you pray for tragedy to strike, I'll see you next week. Now, for a short performance from the, Sh uh, from the Syracuse Shakespearean Appreciation Society. Their rendition of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Oh my, I am too late, my love, my wife, why dost thou leave me? I cannot live on, but I must. <laughs> Romeo, no! Oh. Oh my, J Juliet! <laughs> oh, I, I thought I lost thou. <laughs> What's wrong? Why, why art thou looking at me like that? Oh, nothing. No, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, okay. Uh, what's wrong? Um, 
Why art thou still alive? What? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just, I guess I thought that you'd be so much more distressed over my death, but no, I, I just, I guess you just don't care. Uh, Juliet, are you suggesting that, that I That thou kill thyself for me? Yes. Yes, Romeo, oh. I am. I mean, I just kill myself for you. Okay, well, you didn't actually kill yourself, but okay, this is, this is ridiculous. Uh, we're both alive. And we can finally run away together like um, we always do. Actually, plan. actually, nah, I don't want to do that anymore. Uh, I actually think that I'm just going to do it for real this time since it seems like you don't really care either way, so. You... Would thou even still love me if I were a worm? Yes, I would still love thee if thou were a worm. I have always said that. You I'm sound gaslighting me right now. You sound so lover, crazy lover, right now. Lover, stop. This argument oh. is ludicrous. Yes, Juliet, uh, you're being totally unreasonable. Thank okay, you. well, she just cares about this relationship. Wait, you're taking her side? Yeah, I'm taking her side. This is really embarrassing. I'm out of here. Um, are you coming with me? Swift, I bet you do. No, I bet you do. <laughs> when she's on screen, it drives you crazy. She because did. she's a woman. No, she pollutes the earth with her carbon emissions. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so do you and you fart because you fart. That's all you do. You just fart. All no, I, men don't, don't fart. fart. Men never fart. We yeah, never yeah. fart. She protects this damn city with all she's got. She doesn't give a damn what it takes. She's the goddamn Waverly Warrior. Hey, I don't like what I'm seeing over there. And I think you, sir, with the comb over, know what I'm talking about. Yes, please hurry. Move along, little lady. You don't involve yourself with this. I think I do, creepy man number one. I think I do. I'm going to give you one more chance to let her go now. You're going to give me one more chance? You better script. Damn, she's on fire. She pulls them right in where she wants them and then clocks them right in the face. Thank you so much. I was just walking home from class and he came over and started harassing me. Now I do what I do for the people of this one avenue and you just so happen to be here. And the avenue in which I would lay my life for. Yeah, cool. Um. Well, thanks. <laughs> Looks like this one calls for an almost able-bodied person. Nothing you can do about it now. There's a nice group of men online that are willing to pay big bucks for those teeth. Hey, I'm gonna give you three seconds to stop that. Wait, don't I know you from my English discussion? Oh my gosh. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, it all started when I was about like nine. Uh, my dad died and my mom turned to the alcohols. Had kind of a rough childhood, had to grow up really fast, started driving myself to school when I was like 11, stuff like that. My mom and I have had a rocky relationship. I think it's on the up, but she bought me a singular scallion for my birthday last year. And then get this, last week, at the bony part of my ankle on the door. Uh, I don't know, life just hasn't been too kind to me. So like, do you even need the crutches? I'll tell you what I need. Justice for this city. No telling what this avenue will bring. And God knows, the Waverly Warrior has seen it all. Welcome 
back. Uh, Joe, I'm really sorry for yelling at you like that. I got really heated. Uh, what's the score of the Super Bowl? Shh, shh, shh. Usher, three. Taylor Swift, ten. Jeez. Oh my god, there goes my money line. Ugh. Jeez, at least Justin Bieber came out there. Yeah, right? Yeah. Clank. Yeah. Trying out my imaginary spurs. Howdy do, cow folks. So uh, good to see you again. Uh, Liz, who's this? Oh, this is my improv coach, Bo. Hi, Bo. Since when do you have an improv coach? Since OTN said I would be funnier if I came up with my own jokes that contained real, actually funny humor instead of reading them off of a, off of a cart. Okay, but why is he here right now? Oh, because you need him so much more than I do. Hey, I'm totally funny and awesome and, you, are, you know. You are, sure. <laughs> Don't worry, Jealous Joe Loria. Bo's here to help both of y'all. We weren't fighting over you. Switch. Um, we weren't fighting over your mom. Better. <laughs> what did this become a your mom joke? Isn't improv the acting when you can only say yes and and your friends in the audience pretend to enjoy it? Seriously, <laughs> what is happening? Magic, magic is happening. Joe Loria, Liz just demonstrated my world-renowned exercise. I will give you a situation or a question, and when I say switch, that's when you change your response. Okay, okay, all right. All right, Joe. Yes. What makes you happier than a cowboy in new spurs on a fat horse? <laughs> Roasting Liz. Shut up. Switch. Hating improv. <laughs> nah, no, switch. Hating children. Much better. Very good, partner. Now we're going to try a group exercise. I want you two to pretend to be soldiers in the midst of a battle you're about to lose. Like uh, the Civil War? Shut up, Yankee. <laughs> Go ahead and start us off, Joe. Colonel, we're losing ground. They're in the trees. We're dropping like flies, Colonel. We need to surrender. Surrender? Bad chance. Call on Agent Orange. Switch. Surrender? You sound like my disappointment of a son. Born. Switch again. Surrender? Into your arms? <laughs> Pause. Liz, are you trying to make this into a love story? Okay, leave me alone. I just saw a salt burn, and it's all I can think about. I don't think you understood salt burn. <laughs> what is there to understand about semen in a bathtub? <laughs> okay, uh, very good. Y'all, let's get a scenario with a little bit more tussle. You guys are siblings, and you're fighting over who gets shotgun in the car. You can start us up, little lady. That's not how it works. I called shotgun, so I get to sit in the front. I was talking to Joe. <laughs> no, I'm older. It's all about seniority. Switch. No, I'm taller, so I need more leg room. What am I, a yardstick? Switch. No, I'm not adopted, and you are. <laughs> I'm adopted? Where are my real parents? Switch. Is that the only reason I can't whistle and you all can? Ah, switch. Is that why I'm weirdly attracted to you? <laughs> Liz, what the hell? Now hold your horses, Joe. The relations being monogamous between two siblings is typical in much improvisation. <laughs> Listen, okay, okay. I never go to writer's meetings. I've never done improv before, but I know for a fact that incest is not a part of improv. And yet, it's legal in many states. <laughs> Liz, where did you find this guy? Oh, I went to his master class in Alabama. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's enough of that. <laughs> See you after commercial. Yeah, it's kind of a commercial. Hi, hi, and welcome to hi, and welcome to Jubilee, the show where we do that thing where there's some normal people and then there's one dude who's not normal, and the normal people have to figure out who the tweaker is. Today's episode, figure out which person is literally a dog. Okay guys, figure out who the freaker is, or don't. I don't even care. My wife left me for one of those Apple sex robots. I don't care about anything anymore. Uh, I think it's him. 
Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Woo! I mean... <laughs> nah, nope. <laughs> I think you're the dog guy. Dude, you're literally on all fours. Wow, okay. <laughs> Way to generalize. Okay. <laughs> How does this work? Can we vote, like, now? Wait, wait, wait! Wait, wait, wait! Wait! Don't vote. I think person three is the dog guy. I'm really sure it's them. Okay. I'm like, I'm like really sure. Like, I'm pretty sure you're the dog guy. Oh, okay, guys, I am literally not the dog guy. You barked at- are, are, are you- Are you peeing right now, dude? What? No, what? Peeing? Why, why would I do that? Um, I saw you eating poop in the driveway. I saw her eating poop in the driveway. No. Yep, I swear to God, she ate it. She ate it and left no crumbs. Ew, what? Poop? That's not even like food. <laughs> what I, the heck? I was not eating poop, you guys. This place doesn't even have a driveway. It does. No, it does. Nobody uses it because it's always covered in poop. <laughs> not anymore, though, because you ate all of it. Yep, you ate all of the poop in the driveway and you did it for free. What? Yep. You definitely could have received some compensation for that, but you didn't. You know why? Because dogs don't use human currency. You're the dog. Everyone vote her out. She's the dog. I swear. Uh, that's true. I've never seen a dog use any type of currency. Nope. Not cash, not coin, not even Venmo. Mm -hmm. how, would, how would they do that? They don't even have thumbs. Oh, okay. I am not the dog, you guys. That's actually a good point. I mean, I wasn't listening, though, because I got bored. It sounds like you're ready to vote. It, no, do not vote. I am not the dog guy. Guys, I literally hate dogs. One bit my sister's ankle when she was 11 at conversion camp, and she had to get so many stitches. It wasn't me. You bit your sister in the thigh? <laughs> you can't do that. Pretty sure you're not allowed to do that. Yeah, that's illegal, I think. No, wh wh why would I bite my sister? Guys? He is the dog. He's been acting like a dog this whole time. He is on his knees right now. Dog guy says what? What? Yep, got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. Yep. Okay, what is going on? I feel so crazy right now. <laughs> Buck wild. Yep. Yep. You are. Yep, you are. You are. Dogs actually, that can actually happen to dogs sometimes. They can have mental disorders. Uh, so that makes sense. You, you know Air Bud? Yep, happened to him. Uh, once he got fired from the NBA, he became an alcoholic and his wife left him. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Mm -hmm. Didn't he have kids? Yeah, they died in the Challenger explosion. Yep. That's why I started drinking. Yeah, that's true. Oh, the Challenger explosion? That was actually horrible. Guys, guys, <laughs> what is even going on right now? Uh, we're voting you out. Yep, we are voting you out. I vote for player three. Yeah, I vote for her too. Me too. Okay. Anyway, um, cool. Person three is eliminated. There we go. Were we right? Uh, I don't know, probably. <laughs> anyway, join us next week when we try to figure out which player actively has a rose toy inside of them. Peace. <laughs>